Chapter 20 Jeff the Killer Returns EJ Pop, as me and Swindy get Jeff ready, suddenly pulled out a book. It had wearied Santic letters on it. I raised an eyebrow. Um, Swindy, what with the book, and how will that be in Jeff back? I question which he reply. This book is contract death, and for one soul, another must be given to him in return for Jeff's. I nodded in understanding, but something was still quite off about all of this. But I didn't question it, or Sunday. But I just can't help but shake this feeling that Jeff will be different, like he lost the last bit of sanity he had left. Or am I scared about coming face to face with death? Yo, know, that's it. I'm freaking out about all of this. I said, Freaking out about what, EJ? And you do the gal. After we do our Jeff back, he won't be able to die unless Mr. Creepy Pasta or his children kill him because their blood is helping him come back. So therefore they have the abilities to kill Jeff and LJ if they wish. Slendy said. I walk over to Jeff and look down at him. His eyes was a foggy color and they seem to be staring right at me. I cringe at the sight and grab some handcuffs and place cuff his to the bed. I did the same to his feet. Hey, you want to make sure he does run away or try to hurt you. EJ, we're ready. And remember, do not freak out when you see death. I knocked and grabbed Slendy hand that was on the other side of Jeff to kind of deep breath. We started to chant it. Mortem in Bacavera. Te facias cura nobis et bonae. TV anima. Beef up. Invocant. Another week. I could fell the air left the room. When a bright light enter a scalation with old sea their cloak on, red pupil steering at me. I could feel myself going insaner the longer I look in them. I forced myself to look away as I was catching my breath. I heard a dark, low voice that sent chills up my spine. What calls me here, Sorgerman? And you know I don't do favors for free, unless you have something in return. He said, Sandy Ripley. Well, yes, I do, Jeff. Holding up Isaac's soul. This is for Jeff's. Now, do we have a trade? Yes, I've been waiting far too long for this soul. And now that I have it, you may have Jeffrey back. Thus said, pulling out a white spare and handed to Sandy. Thank you, Dev. We both said, and death disappear into thin air. Sandy placed the soul over Jeff's heart and push it in. Jeff's chest began to move slowly, and his eyes began to get uncloudy. I'll call LJ and let him know. Sandy said and walked off. 